Is your car spying on you? It might be. Hey guys, welcome back to Dizzle in Motion. We got Dizzle here today. This is an interesting story. I It actually started by accident. I had gotten a mailer about my insurance renewing and my insurance literally has gone up like 20 to 30% for three years in a row. I have a perfect driving record. I have every discount known to man, except for maybe fleet. And it just keeps going up and up and up. And I've talked to other people and a lot of people are experiencing this right now. So I was trying to get to the bottom of why do the insurance rates keep going up so high? I just happened upon an article in the New York Post yesterday and it caught my attention because some of the things that I had come up with so far was like inflation, cars cost more, repairs are up. And I'm like, inflation's like five to 10 percent. Right. Why would insurance go up 60 percent? So like trying to figure all these things out. And some people had theories about maybe it's DEI related, like they're not allowed to charge certain groups more money so they're offsetting the cost amongst everybody but here is an interesting little theory and evidently it's a real thing so let's get into it in this day and age where pretty much our privacy is limited into the hoppy in a circle in your own bathroom with the door locked and with the lights off it's about all the privacy you would ever get this is kind of like another infringement along those lines so according to this new york post article that i was reading People have been getting blindsided by the rate increases due to their vehicles reporting on them, their driving habits and their driving situations to insurance companies by third parties. Say that again. Your car, unbeknownst to you, is reporting how you're driving to your insurance company and they are able to track the VIN number of that car track who the registered owner of that car is, and if they match, raise their rates. So multiple manufacturers are now on the table. This is just the short list we know of. It's Honda, GM, Hyundai, Ford, Mitsubishi, and Kia. Those are the ones we know for sure are at least somewhat involved with these programs. So there are data firms. Uh, The biggest one is a LexisNexis. There's Verisk, and there's a proliferation of other ones coming up as industries and services that are risk oriented insurance and uh, healthcare and stuff like that are now trying to data mine wherever they can. And at first glance, you're, you're kind of like, well, what's the big deal? If you're a good driver, you got nothing to worry about. I'll get into that in a second. Now it does get kind of murky. Uh, they were able to get statements from a couple of the companies like Ford says they only report if you give explicit consent through their touchscreen within the vehicle to do so. That is the only way, according to Ford, they transmit. General Motors claims that the only way they're doing it is through their OnStar companion opt-in. So they have like a safe driver, like we'll monitor you and give you tips for how to drive better kind of thing. I mean, it just sounds like, are you really buying that? (laughs) Anyways, they say that if you opt in on OnStar, then GM's in. The others have not really come out and explained a lot. However, I have found it in the terms of service and the Honda companion app. I have a Honda, a newer Honda, like you see right here. And it explains that if you opt in to their terms of service, it covers all these different things, like basically every aspect of how the vehicle moves, what's going on, the direction, all this stuff. Now, if you're like me and most people, you get a terms of service for using something digital in your car, an app, or you know, a, a driver mechanic aid. And you're thinking to yourself, yeah, so this is a terms of service to cover their butts if, uh, you know, because they're gonna have some idea of my odometer or my maintenance, or you're thinking in those lines, right? Like you would never assume, unless you get into the nitty gritty, which is a lesson here overall, terms of service now are like slavery contracts when it comes to your privacy all right uh but yeah it's buried in there and i did find it already just like within seconds uh so was it really bad uh shouldn't bad drivers pay more and good drivers pay less okay maybe morally as a society we can accept that but it's not that simple and the reason it's not that simple is for several reasons one 
the metrics are a secret. Like for instance, some of the things that were being reported were unsafe acceleration, uh, swerving, uh, stuff like this. Now here's the difference. Because the metrics are unknown, like what am I only allowed to do a zero to 60 less than eight seconds? Is it four seconds? Is it? And these were being reported as negatives. We're not talking about like burning rubber, redlining, stuff like that. Just maybe spirited driving could still get you screwed, even though you're doing completely legal, doing the speed limit, not exhibition of speed, not reckless, completely safe in your environment to enjoy your vehicle. Like if you have a Lamborghini versus a Honda Civic versus, you know, a Suburban, and one's in the snow and one's on a, a dry road, there's no differentiation for that, for how it's being reported. What if there's a hazard and you're avoiding it? You swerved and you literally saved the insurance company money because of your evasive maneuver, but it just reports in your computer back to them, no, he swerved or he accelerated quickly. Well, guess what? I had to get on this on-ramp and everybody was driving like a-holes that day and it was everyone was doing 80 on the highway. So yeah, I had to do 80 to merge. And that comes back and hurts you when really you're, being a good driver, a proactive driver. And because the metrics are this huge secret, that's where I feel like there is a massive problem with that. Now, if you look at the big picture, one thing is clear with the proliferation of all this stuff, it's not going away anytime soon. Uh, there's lots of profitability for the third party reporting firms. They're doing this all, all over the place. Like I said, healthcare, uh, there's social media scrubbing going on right now where if you're, there's companies, I, I was part of a VC pitching for venture capital startups and there's a ton of startups out there and they literally just data mine all of the social media. And if your picture shows up and you're smoking a cigarette, or even if you're not, if your friend is, if there's a cigarette in the picture, alcohol, drugs, anything like that, they can ding your healthcare. The healthcare companies are mining this information and they're lobbying to get the laws changed so they can use it against you. It's not in every state, so look up your local stuff. But at the end of the day, what do you guys think about this? I I understand like where everything's trending. It's like the social credit score, right? Like it's like you got your financial score, you got your healthcare score, now we're gonna have a driving score. These are all gonna converge, all right? And we're gonna lose a lot of our privacy, we're gonna lose a lot of our freedom because of it, and it's not gonna be fair. And I feel like if they want to implement a system where you need you are rewarded for driving well and punished for driving poorly, I feel like the only fair way to do it is transparently, where there is a system that's very clear that if you do these acts in this manner, you will get a demerit or however they're scoring it. But doing it in cloak and dagger gives them the opportunity to price gouge and hide it under, oh yeah, he's just a crappy driver. Well, how do we know that? So do you trust the insurance companies? to use this data and make healthy, good decisions? Or do you think this is another step toward the social credit system and the downfall of your sovereignty? Let me know in the chat.